Hey guys, a rock or something got underneath the belt cover. There was a loud screech and suddenly the blade stopped spinning. Let's have a look and see what the damage is. The first thing we need to do is remove the four bolts fastening down the belt cover. This is the synchronous belt, or what was left of it. It's mangled and tied up around the sprocket. The tensioner pulley is toast. We'll have to replace that too. Let's start by removing the idler bracket first and then we'll install a new pulley. This is the bolt that controls the tension. These are the mounting bolts, also called the shoulder bolts or shoulder screws. And then in the middle here, we have screw that holds down the pulley to the bracket. Before we install our new belt, let's match it up against the old one to see if it's the right size. Likewise with the pulley. Make sure they match up. I hope you remember to save all the hardware from the old pulley bracket because none of it was included in the uh, package except for the spacer. This. I think that's a spacer. It's not listed in in the uh, parts manual. The part itself is listed, but not the name of it, shall I say. I'm using two 13 millimeter wrenches to lock the pulley into place. Now we're going to bolt the bracket into place with our two mounting screws. Don't bolt the bracket down so tight that we can't make adjustments on the belt tension. The adjustment screw comes with this flat spring washer and this nut. The spring helps us gauge the amount of tension in the belt. We'll get to that later. After I get this nut on, we'll start installing the belt. The first thing we need to do is remove the belt guide spindle. Then we'll have to remove the brake pulley underneath it before we can slip the belt on. You don't have to remove the engine guard. I'm getting it out of the way because I need the space. We're going to shoot off the sprocket nut with an impact wrench. You may be wondering why I'm trying to remove the brake pulley at this point in our project. We've installed the other pulley. Why not at this point install the synchronous belt? The answer is we can't, or at least I couldn't. I tried to install the belt, but I couldn't squeeze it into place because the screw post is too close to the brake pulley. It's designed that way, I guess, to keep the belt in place. We have to remove the brake pulley first and then put on the synchronous belt unless you can find a way to squeeze the belt past the brake pulley. I hope that's not confusing.
I'll slip on her belt and turn the camera back on after I'm out of the way. Okay, the belt is on, and the sprockets are lined up in the correct orientation thanks to the screwdrivers. You can't see my left hand, but I'm using it to support the spindle shaft while I lower the brake pulley with my other hand. Once the nut is screwed on the spindle, I can stop supporting the blade from underneath. Okay, now I'm tightening the belt to factory specifications. As I tighten the adjustment screw, the spring washer gets flatter and flatter. But we don't want it completely flat. We want enough bulge in the spring to slip in and out a piece of paper. This is close to the correct amount of tension. The paper slides in and out of the washer, but with some resistance. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to installing a synchronous belt and pulley on your Toro 30-inch Time Master.